That's right, man. I'm gonna keep them roll. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna roll them out, man. Welcome, 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 welcome to Room Seven Seven Seven, man. Welcome, welcome. I welcome y'all. Come on in. Come on in the room seven seven seven. Hear what I say? Come on, come on, come on in. I'm showing my hospitality to y'all. Showing my hospitality. Come on in. Get your seat. Stand on the wall. Do what you want to do. That make you comfortable. Pull up something and listen and listen to something that's gonna get you far. Ah, oh, man. I tell you, I've been hearing some stuff. Everybody's still waiting on that second stimulus. Uh, especially my melanated people. Look, man, y'all, y'all got. Let me tell y'all something, y'all. Stop depending on the government, man. Think like the government. That's how you win. Think like the banking system. That's how you win. Think like the commerce. Think like the international trade. That's how you win. You got so much storage and knowledge on the internet and still in these libraries. It, just think, if you harness that knowledge, just half of it, y'all be better off, man. Know the intricate, know the intricate parts of the banking system. Know the intricate parts of your history. Know the most important thing, the crucial things about your history and about worldwide finance. This day always been about jumping off the porch, the half and the half nuts. You may call them interlopers, I call them opportunists. I call them opportunists, excuse me. Y'all call them interlopers, I call them, I mean, y'all call them interlopers, I call them opportunists. I, I, you know, I call them non-conformists. I call them sigma males. But see, those kind of sigma males and non-conformists brothers, are, they use their knowledge of, 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 of manhood to get all get over on other weak men and women and take the booty, rape, ravage, and kill and, and take all the resources out of the land. It's, it, this, this, this thing, look, look, look how many times this thing happened to different nationalities. You know, people with warring factions. I mean, you lay down, you got the inside, you got the outsiders looking in, surrounding the surrounding the indigenous people, then pretty soon. They come with this fake religion. They say they come in peace, but know what follows behind that? A motherfucking sword. Stop falling for the okie doke. You, you know, especially if you a race. How many times we heard this about the leading? Uh, we was the leading people of civilization. We we thought we was just going to just sit by and be the richest people without security, without securing our borders, without securing our land. What you think national security is? You see what America does, see what I'm saying? America got the eyeball all over the damn world. Fire as far as them, don't don't be fooled, man. They got surveillance all over the world, man. But we casualties of war, respect the melanated people, we didn't fought for this country, you know? A lot of people that went on to the La La, well, not La La Land, a lot of people that went on to, you know, their next destination, everyone over there buried in Arlington and, and over there by the Pentagon and, and military cemeteries and stuff, all those white tombstones, you know. My old my old man down there, I think he yeah, I think he got buried in Quantico. Or something like that. I kept on thinking it was a Pentagon. He worked at the Pentagon. I think they yeah, he's buried at Quantico, whatever the case may be, you know, he served in the Air Force. You know, he done his thing. You know, he was there. You know, I can't complain. You know, at least I had a father, man. That's why, you know, I can't talk about y'all brothers. I, I I don't know how it is. And I hate when people say that, man. I know how it is. And I know you don't, man, because you had a father and mother in your life. And I had both. So how can you tell the other brother, I know how it is, and you, and you, got, and you had that in your life? Be careful, you content creators, man. When you talking to people, man, you cannot be, you can, you cannot feel the pain they feel when you got these young men and young women that's already grown now, but they never had, never had a father or mother. Some of them didn't, you know, some of them didn't, didn't even have, they didn't even have both. They was raised by their grandmama or their auntie or their uncles or, 
or, or grandfathers and shit like that. But it wasn't their parents. Parents got clipped during, during the 60s and 70s. You know, they was out there drugging it up and, and throwing it up. And they got, and they got clipped up. Man, it's, it's a lot of families, these young adults that grew up, they, they mother and father got smoked when they were little children or, or, or little babies, man. It's sad, but that's the, I mean, some books are written like that. So be careful content creators. Oh, I, can, I feel, no, you don't feel that pain. How the fuck you can say that? First of all, it's a, some, it, it, it's a time and a place and it's how to say things. I'm not gonna say, yeah, dog, man, I know how it is, man. But you, but nah, man, nah, I don't know how it is. I'm not gonna speak on it. I'm not gonna speak on that unless unless they, you know, unless they give me initiation to speak on it. I don't know they pain. Cause I never had to go through that. See what I'm saying? Cause I had both. And I thank God for that. One, you know, my father gone, my mom still here at 75. And that's a blessing in itself. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and it's sad. I got to say, I'm here. I, I, yeah, I'm here at four fifth, and have my boys been. Some of my boys been dead. Some of some of the dudes I know, I grew up with, been dead for eleven years, man. Eleven years, damn near twenty years. It's crazy. Now look at these youngers out here. They not even fucking twenty or twenty one. They getting hit at 15, 14, 13, 12, 10. This just just what. A one-year boy, uh, uh, someone that's sprayed in, you know, in Southeast Washington, D.C. I heard it on the news earlier this morning. One-year-old boy got, you know, a bullet hit him, struck him. He dead. One-year-old. That, 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 just think about that. One fucking years old. Just one year he was on this earth and gone. I think it was a boy or a girl, you know. Whatever the case may be, it was a little, it was, it was a little child, man that only lived one year on this motherfucking earth and gone, dude, because motherfuckers don't know how to shoot guns. They don't know how to shoot no guns out here. They're not built like, they're not built, they're not built like dudes from our time. So I'm a 75 cat. I was born in 75. They ain't built like that. Not to be bragging nothing about it, they just not. You, if you in, if you in the underworld, and I don't condone, I don't condone this shit. Let's 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 get this straight now. But I would think the ones you try to get, you 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 pin them down, you find your target, and go ahead and do the damn thing. But no, y'all don't do that. Y'all y'all from afar, shooting shooting guns. Don't ain't no sniper. You ain't no marksman. So you got bullets flying everywhere. So innocent innocent bystanders is liable to get smacked with a with a hot ball. And that's it. See, see, it got too far out of hand, man. And that's why the good books say, I gotta come back, or no flush will be saved. And it's looking like that every day. He has to come back. Cause we live in our scripture now. And it ain't and, and no flush man saved. This not only black folks, white folks killing, I mean, the whole, it's, it's, no, it's not selected to certain demographics. It's the whole world, man. Now we got a nationwide pandemic, man. You know what I'm saying? Now the, we got a global pandemic now. So, there you go. You got thousands, you got people dying by the thousands, man. We got, we got a silent, we got a silent, silent helicopter going on, man. And we got a helicopter within a helicopter because we still got black genocide. It's a lot we got to work on, bro, brothers and sisters. It's a still, it's a still a lot we got to work on. And some of the, in most cases, now you got this internet, you got this, you got this, this fame, fame hood. I, I'm this, I'm that, and you got dudes actually killing themselves over social media beefs and clout. Now you got virtual reality spilling out in reality and ending people's reality. Yeah, ain't that some shit? You got virtual reality spilling in reality and ending people's reality. Let me say it again. You got virtual reality 
spilling in reality and in people's reality. Let me say it again. You got virtual virtual reality spilling in reality and in people's reality. Some of y'all rappers can take that and make a hit out of it. I'm telling you, you can take that, you can take this course and make a hit out of it. Just, 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 you know, acknowledge me. Let me hit it again. You got virtual reality spilling out in reality and in people's reality. Let, let, let me hit it again. You got, it's, it, you know, it sounds, you, chant that, chant that on your drill music. You got virtual reality spilling out, you got virtual reality spilling out in reality and in people's reality. You got virtual reality spilling out in reality and in people's reality. And that's what it's doing. Ain't no cut cards, man. That's why I roll on my own only. But some of y'all gonna listen and some of y'all won't. It's up to y'all.